welcome to the Miami Heat Zone podcast. I am your host, Martel Llewellyn. Guys, if you are a Miami Heat fan, continue to like, share, comment, subscribe. Thank you for all the support. Guys, we are pushing to 3,000 subscribers. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button, and I appreciate all the support. So they asked Kenny Beachman, who's a famous YouTuber who talks about the NBA on the Miami Heat getting Terry Rozier. He said, I love it because they struggle offensively recently. Jimmy is such a passive guy in the regular season, something I don't really understand. They just needed another guy who can go get a bucket, just give it time. And I think he's right, especially when it comes to Terry Rozier. Obviously, he's trying to get acclimated to the Miami Heat's offense and, you know, the defensive sets. He's not used to being on a winning competitive franchise. He's been on the Warners for like four years. So we got to give him time because remember, they clowned the Clippers when they first got James Harden because they were losing a bunch of games. It's unfortunate that, you know, he joined the Miami Heat right in the middle of a losing streak. But I'm not really worried about Terry Rozier because he's a baller. He's shown flashes about how quick he is, shifty, getting to the rim, creating rim pressure. Yes, his shots aren't falling, but he's taking shots within the offense that makes sense. And all those things, like Kenny said, we needed a guy that can go get a bucket and Terry Rozier can. So I'm not really worried about him. Just give it time. I would say maybe give him another week or so. Then we'll see how he looks. But with the Miami Heat and Jimmy Butler being passive, it is what it is. That's what Jimmy Butler is. I don't necessarily agree with it only because think about it. All these other stars, Luka, Embiid, all these stars across the league, Kevin Durant, they're giving us 30-point games, 40-point games. And I'm not saying that Jimmy Butler has to play 82 games. And I repeat that. I'm not saying he has to play 82 games and he needs to give us 30 points a game. Because think about it. Jimmy Butler's already going to miss 20 to 25 games. And that's fine. I'm cool with all that. But when you do play, can you at least give us 20 to 25 points a game? Can you at least bring the energy, even if you're not scoring? Can you bring the competitive energy? Because the Miami Heat need this. They go as far as Jimmy Butler goes. And if the Miami Heat organization knows that Jimmy Butler is not going to play the regular season seriously, why don't you guys build a better roster around Tyler Hero and Bam Adebayo? Because Tyler Hero cannot carry your offense efficiently to the point where you're going to win multiple games and go on winning streaks. He can't do it by himself. Bam Adebayo, he has to do a lot for this team already on both ends of the floor, rebounding, setting screens, getting guys open, guarding one through five. He does a lot for this Miami Heat team. And to be honest, he does too much, especially when his power forward is six, nine, six, eight. So at the end of the day, there's a lot of holes on this roster. Yes, we've solved the point guard issue. I also think that they've been slacking on defense. Because everyone's pretty much healthy now. Jimmy Butler's not really playing even decent defense. I don't know what it is about Jimmy. I don't know if he's hurt. I don't know what it is. But we still have to hold him accountable because he is the leader of this team. Same thing with Tyler Hero. Tyler Hero has to be more efficient. He has to get to the free throw line. He said he was going to be a lot better this year, and I'm still waiting on it. Yeah, he's improved in maybe marginal areas, but in terms of impacting winning, no. What is he really doing outside of being inefficient or taking bad shots within the offense that people are still complaining about? Also, too, let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think that Jimmy Butler should be better? Do you guys think that Tyler Hero should go to the bench and Duncan Robinson should be starting? Because sometimes a lot of people don't understand. Manu Ginobili came off the bench. Could he have started? Yes. But within the flow of the Spurs offense, that's where he was functioning better off the bench. Tyler Hero, I think he might function better off the bench. Duncan Robinson... When uh, Tyler Hero was hurt, he was playing phenomenal. He was he was playing, he was straight up balling. So at the end of the day, you know, Eric Spolster is really going to have to look at this team, look at this roster, and see how we can get this thing going because we cannot continue to lose multiple games within the Eastern Conference. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. Like, share, comment, subscribe as we continue to push to 3,000 subscribers.